since the advent of computer technology, medical equipment technology has been making lifts every day. One important development in medical technology would be apheresis. Apheresis is a medical technology in which the blood of a donor or patient is passed through an apparatus that separates out one particular constituent and returns the remainder to the circulation. We recently visited the Philippine Red Cross Apparatus Center in Port Area, Manila. The organization's blood center has recently been conferred with the ISO 9001-2003 certificate from PUV Greenland last December 17, 2010. They are the first non-hospital-based blood service facility in the Philippines. This is, the, this is our apheresis. We started the apheresis uh, collection, special blood collection, last 1990. Using one machine. Okay, our very first machine was this one. The CS3000 Plus. CS3000 yes. Plus. Parang Jurassic, no? Mm -hmm. Diba? <laughs> oh. uh, itong ating CS3000 Plus is a double access procedure. So, ibig sabihin, double needle siya. One is coming out, one is coming in. So, yan yung pinaka-first machine then came the which is on one access machine. So, it's siya. But uh -huh. it's not a, a continuous procedure because imagine, di ba, isang access. Intermittent procedure at tawag sa kanya. Whereas, ito ating CS3000 plus blood cell separation. It's a double continuous process. Because, di ba, uh, if one ML goes out, one ml goes in. So, parang and gano'n. Compared to the time it takes for... It takes longer. Uh, Kasi, intermittent flow nga siya. Yung parang, magkocollect muna siya ng a certain uh, CC of blood. That's 300 to 400 cc. Ipoprocess niya. And then, afterward, ibabalik niya yung ibang components. And then, nadagdagan niya yung aming mga machines like the Amicus, yung Maxter, Baxter is US. Ito yata Singapore. Certain components lang yung kinokollect natin. So, anong gusto mo? Make next. Pag whole blood collection, meron tayong plasma, red blood cells, papito, glucosides. So, pag platelets lang, yung apat na components, binabalik sa donor. Kaya, yung donor natin naka-attach sa machine. Kasi, as much as 2.5 liters, of very safe ito. Kasi, lahat ng kids natin disposable. So, per donor, per kid. And, it is very expensive. Unlike yung convention. So, one kid, 9,000 pesos. Wow. Yan pala, ha? wala pang laman. So, it's a closed system kit, sterilized. Yan, wala, wala, wala siya mga leaks. Ha? Dapat, inspect mo for leaks. Um, are there instances po that these machines malfunction? Yes. Okay. Kasi About hindi naman yan, syempre, napapagod din yan. Nire-replace naman yan. Uh, monthly ang preventive maintenance. Yes, meron siya through centrifugation. Meron siya Umiikot siya, umiikot. Merong certain speed. 4,800 rate per minute. Yan ang speed. In terms of speed ko, Meron tayong 150 hanggang 450 na range. 
sa isang normal donor. Pero, para mag-qualify ka, dapat 220. Kung 150 yung rate niya, o the normal, hindi ka na Kasi, approximately 30% ang naaalis after the Red Cross is ISO. Kailangan lahat uniform. From the very start, ISO na So if you want to donate your platelets for those in need, don't hesitate to donate them to the Red Cross. Do something amazing today and give blood. Say what you need to say. 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 Say what you need to say.